everyone, welcome back to Modern Home Setting with Tessa. I'm Tessa, and this is the channel where I show you how to feed yourself. It is a beautiful, gorgeous, sunshiny day, which is amazing after all of the dreary, gloomy rain that we had. And don't get me wrong, I am not complaining about rain at all, but it's nice to see the sunshine. So, I think Kevin wants to come out of his inside house and, and get outside, so let's go get him. <laughs> Kevin, you want to go outside, buddy? Yeah, you want to get a sign? Okay, where do you want to go today, buddy? Over here? Sure, we can go here. So today, we're gonna be making lard. Lard kinda gets this bad rap, like it's an unhealthy fat, but it's actually really good for you. Especially if the pork fat comes from pastured pigs. It doesn't count if it came from a, a sad pig in a factory farm concentration camp. And speaking of all this sunshine, the second richest source of vitamin D is from lard. Second only to cod liver oil. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to fry my eggs up in some cod liver oil. In fact, one tablespoon of lard contains 1,000 IUs of vitamin D. It's also a great source of B vitamins and minerals. They did a study on the 100 most um, nutritious foods, and on that list, pork fat was number eight. Yeah, you, you heard me right, number eight. The other cool thing about lard is with the vitamin D, it's a fat soluble vitamin and it needs those fatty acids, our body needs those fatty acids in order to even process and utilize the vitamin D. So lard is like the perfect package to bring you your vitamin D, which is awesome. If you're someone like me who maybe has struggled with depression in the past, that is really good news because we're always trying to find ways to get more vitamin D, aren't we? <laughs> and I think it goes without saying, it's delicious. <laughs> like, like lard is so good to cook in and make your french fries and fried chickens. Keep it up, Fabio. So rendering lard is basically cooking it down to where you're evaporating all of the water content out and then you are left with pure fat that then will store for much longer. The first thing that I'm gonna do is grind my fat because the smaller the pieces are, the more lard you're gonna get out of it. You also want your pork fat to be partially frozen for the grinding process. So this is fat from the pigs that we raised last year. We raised three of them and this is all of the back fat from all three pigs. Nailed it. Totally missed it. So before we get going too far on this, I'm gonna get a little bit rendering down in the very bottom and we're gonna just add little bits at a time.
All right, so we've come up to a nice little boil here, and so we're just gonna stand here and keep stirring this. And we're gonna keep this going until those bubbles start to slow down. So right now you can definitely tell that there's some um, <clears throat> you know, boiling going on. And that's all of the moisture coming up out of the fat. And these cracklins, oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh yeah. They just need a little sea salt. <laughs> Is that how you do it? So there you have it, lard. Not only is it not bad for you, it's actually really, really good for you. It's an excellent source of vitamin D. And it is a um, fat that we can produce on the homestead ourselves. So fat is one of those things that's hard to come by on the homestead. So um, a lot of people end up buying things like, um, like sunflower oil or olive oil or butter. Thank you, Kevin. Um, and this is one thing that you don't have to buy. So um, uh, one less thing to have to go to the grocery store and buy, which is the whole point is, of this, is to become more self-sufficient. Um, it's also using another part of your animal that you raised for food, um, which we always want to honor every part of the animal that we can. <laughs> That's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I just recently hit 500 subscribers and I'm so <laughs> excited about it. I've been at this YouTube thing for three months now and um, I'm, I'm loving it and I love hearing all the stories from everybody telling me, oh, I canned this and it was awesome and oh, I made the bread and um, and that just, that's the whole reason I'm doing this and that makes me so incredibly happy. So thank you to all of you who have reached out and told me um, that you're doing stuff and you're canning and um, yeah, it's awesome. So thank you guys again. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> Kevin, you're good, good, yes, you're a good boy. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>